Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Juvia's Place Natural Radiant Foundation, um, which just came out maybe about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, I believe, by the time this video comes out. Um, but before we hop into the video, if you are new here, welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Ronell. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys are into hair, makeup, lifestyle, any of those kinds of videos and want to see more of me, make sure you turn on your notifications and hit that subscribe button as well so you do not miss an upload. And yeah, let's hop into the video. Okay, so today, like I said, and you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a first impressions on the Juvia's Place um, Natural, it says Natural Radiance Foundation. I did pick up three shades. I originally started picking up one, and then I went back online and ordered two more just in case. Sometimes I feel like when you go from matte to radiant, the shades don't kind of... Um, match the same when you change the formula. So I picked up two other shades. Um, so I picked up a Gabon, which um, I picked up Gabon 300, Cameroon 305, and Burkina 310. Um, Gabon is the shade that I use in the the original one, the matte one. So I picked that up originally and I was just like, mm, let me pick up two more just in case because I wanna be able to find a perfect match. Hopefully I won't have to mix two. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna swatch these on my chest so you guys can see. Um, and then we'll hop into the application once we kind of figure out which one is the, you know, more of the right shade. Let me turn on my light over here too so I can kind of see there too. Um, they did come out with some powder foundations, which I do have those as well, but um, I will do that in another video. I'm also going to be featuring their um, uh, makeup sponge they came out with as well. It's like the I Am Magic Duo Density Makeup Sponge. Um, it comes in a box like this, but I already wet it, so um, we're going to be trying that out as well. I like the shape of it, <clears throat> but we'll get into that later. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to swatch is Gabon, which again is my shade that I use in matte. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand so I can swatch it. And then I'm going to swatch it here. Which doesn't look that bad. I'm hoping it doesn't oxidize. Um, the next one I'm going to do is Cameroon. Cameroon. I don't. Shades are pretty close looking at it. It's super. It's a little more liquidy than the um, the matte one. Cameroon. It's Cameroon. Which Cameroon looks pretty good. I feel like Gabon is giving off a little bit more red than before to me but yeah see Cameroon is 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 it's there and then we're gonna go with Burkina which Burkina was the one I originally tried if you watched my original I am magic foundation um video I, Burkina was the one I originally chose and um then I had found Gabon later um but this this is the shade that I did the review with um Right, I'm gonna go with that. And then we're gonna do Burkina here on the end. Hmm. Let's see. Burkina definitely seems a little light. Burkina definitely, I mean, I feel like Burkina is a little light. But I feel like Gabon is a little red. So I feel like Cameroon is too. I feel like if I mix Burkina and Gabon, it would work. Um, but I feel like for the video, mm, this is hard. 
And then let me read to you the description for the foundation so you guys are aware. So for the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation, it says it's a high performance hybrid formula that delivers a medium to full coverage, um, active skincare ingredients like vitamin A, vitamin C, antioxidants to protect and hydrate the shade. It is available in 33 shades. Um, these are the product like Claims. It's a natural radiant finish, lightweight and breathable formula that melts into skin without weighing it down. Easy glide and bendable, medium to full coverage as I stated before, non-cakey, long lasting comfort, um, visible veil perfection effect, blurring formula that fills in lines and protection and smooth skin and even out complexion for a younger looking appearance without filters. And then the shade, I'm going to read you the description because they do have description. It says Gabon is described as a dark neutral golden undertone. I don't know what golden to y'all look kind of like warm. I don't know. Cameroon says dark with warm bronze undertone and then Burkina is dark with neutral warm undertone, which is kind of how I would describe my complexion. So Burkina uh, honestly has this drying down, which is over here. It's looking pretty good. I might just go with Burkina and hope for the best. I'm gonna be honest. Hope for the best. We're gonna go with Burkina. That's the one I put aside. I feel like Cameroon and Burkina are doable, um, but I feel like Burkina is probably matches the best without being too red or too orangey. So. I just feel safer using this because I don't have anywhere to go, so I'm not really worried about looking ghostly because I'll be home. Um, but yeah, let's get into the application. Let me wipe this off and then we'll get into the application. And now we are going to go on to the star of the show, which is the foundation. Again, the shade that I'm going to be using today is Burkina. Fingers crossed, guys, that this shade will do what it's supposed to do. Last time I did Burkini, you guys were like, no, it's too light. Oh, shit, it looks really light on my hand. I don't know. I'm going I'm to I'm do one pump right now. Or like, Let's do like one and a half. If it's too dark, then, I mean, if it's too light, I'm going to go on with another, another shade. Hey, so for the sponge, it says... So disperse product on flat base, but I can do that. I, I disperse it on the back of my hand and apply it evenly. But I am gonna dip it, my sponge, into the product and apply it. I usually dot it on my face. So uh, I should not have to wait. I usually dab it on my face like this. Could possibly work. Could possibly work, guys. I don't know. It don't look too bad. If you guys hear my phone, it's my, my watch ringing and I'm waiting for the call to be the call. I'm gonna call my mother in a minute as soon as I apply this. Okay, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. All right, I think we're, I think it looks like, but it has like a smell to it. I don't know what it is, but it has a smell to it. And I don't I don't know what it is. It smells not bad, but there is a strong smell. For sure. And I'm not usually I don't I don't know what it is, and I usually don't like smells. It doesn't smell bad, it's just, there's a smell, and I, I don't, I just personally don't like when I can smell my foundation on my face. Let's see if that lingers. Hopefully it does not linger. It's not like one of those lingering scents. I'm gonna kinda turn this brush around and kind of use this part to get into like those edges area, which seems to work good. I'm hoping that the smell does not linger. 
because I don't like that. Like I hate when when stuff that's on my face has like a very sm strong smell. It just bothers me. Um, it kind of gives me a headache. Um, but that's like a personal thing. It's not like a brand thing. It's just I tend to stay away from foundations that have a smell. That's a thing. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't look bad, right? I feel like it's giving something. Maybe it's because it's winter time that this is working, and I'm not like super tan or anything. So I'm just doing one last prep on this. And I'm just going on with the round part just to kind of blend everything together. I do like the shape of it. Um, I just feel like when I, I want to use this side, I'm, it's a weird grip for me because I don't have like something to kind of rest this part of my hand on that I'm used to, but it does work. And I do like the flat side. So like when you're using on the flat side, I, like I like that grip, like that feeling of having something in my hand, like all of my hand, not like I'm just using my fingertips. So the brushes, it's good. It's not super hard. It's very like soft. It's not, you guys know what a hard like a sponge feels like. It's not like that. So I do like that. All right, foundations on, blend out pretty good with the sponge. Um, I'm curious to see how it works with the brush as well. I'm just wanna make sure this concealer is blended out really good because now I'm gonna go in, like I said, with deep, dark, dark deep, and just set the rest of my face. And I love, I used to use this powder too. I remember I didn't like the original like MAC Mineralize Skin Finish um, when it, that, but then when it came out with the Skin Finish Natural, it was perfect. I love it. And then I, ha I haven't used it in years. You guys know I have not used this in years either. You guys haven't seen this on my channel. I feel like when I was looking for makeup for my wedding, I was like very particular and I just went out on a limb and just rebought this because I haven't used it in a while. And I love it. And I love the this set from Juvia's Place. This was the um I think this was their Christmas collection like three years ago or two years ago. I live, I love. These this brush set, I have two sets of these. I might even go and buy a third. This is one of my favorite brush sets. It's probably some of their softest brushes. Um just in general like all of their brushes are soft but I don't know especially like this brush particularly <sighs> I'm obsessed but this brush I have like I said I have two sets of these and I'll probably go and buy another one because I, I just love how these these brushes feel if you have not bought any like Juvia's Place brushes definitely recommend they are really really good all right now I'm going to set my face um this is the Beauty Breakery Baking Spray. I'm gonna use this first, just to set my face. And I'm doing this only because this is what I always do. Like there's never a time where I'm gonna go out and not set my face, so I don't find it necessary to try this foundation without doing what I normally would do to wear it. Cause like, I don't need to know how it reacts without me setting it because I would never not set it. You get what I'm saying? So that's why when I do first impressions and stuff like that, I apply it the way that I would like, why am I testing it without setting it with powder or setting it without setting spray? Because I wouldn't do that in real life. So it doesn't matter how it reacts without all of those things because I wouldn't be doing that. So I'm going to, like I said, set my face the same way that I always would. Again, I'm going with the Beauty Bakery baking spray first. And then next I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury finishing spray. This stuff is phenomenal. The, the pump that I had in the bottle it came in, it just wasn't doing it. So it's in this little glass bottle that I had laying around. So that's why you see it in this bottle, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury finishing spray. 
All right, so I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my face. Um, just touch up, put on a little like lipstick or something, um, just to close out the video, and then not close out the video, or close out this part of the video, and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is the finished look, guys. I'm not taking my twist out. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Um, but this is the finished look, guys. Um, we are going to check back in right now. It is. Uh, 12.07. Um, I'll probably check back in a couple hours after I have it sitting on my face. Again, I'm not really going out. I'll probably go in my backyard for a second just to get some outside footage and things of that nature. Um, but I'm not really going anywhere. I'm not really doing like too much. Um, but you know, I'm going to go it, wear it for a few hours. I'll probably check back maybe, let's say, 3 o'clock. Um, and that's in three hours just to see how the makeup is holding up. Again, it's a radiant foundation, so I'm not expecting it to, like, control oil and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I do just want to see how it wears on my kind of oily combination skin. Um, and just so you guys can know. And then I'll probably check back in right before I wash it off maybe we'll see um but i'll check back in about three to four hours and let you know what i think of it the coverage is pretty good the coverage i want to say is definitely like a medium to full coverage i think i used a pump and a half um it's pretty good the color's not that bad either honestly i thought i thought this was going to be too light but it's not but we'll give it a couple hours and see but I, I don't feel like it's going to oxidize. If it was going to oxidize, I feel like I would have started doing that as I was blending it in. But it didn't do that. Um, but I do like how it looks on my skin. It looks like super... I don't know if radiant's the word. But it does look like my skin is awake and moisturized and plump. And, I, you know, I guess radiant. So we'll give it a couple hours. And, yeah. I will be back. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back. Sorry, it's a little dark. I'm about to go outside so I can show you guys my face. So I'm outside. Lock myself out. Asked out. Be out here all fucking day. But here's my face. Um, looks pretty good. I don't. Y'all see that? I know y'all see it. I don't know if it's the foundation. I mean, it doesn't look, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, so it's been about, I mean, don't get me wrong. My face still looks, honestly, it still looks super, um, it looks matte though. But it looks like, you know, like, not matte, matte, but it looks like, you know, like my skin is still glowing and stuff like that. So it doesn't look bad, like in person. Um, but to me, like when I get a little bit closer... I just feel like I see those little bumps, but you can't actually see them unless you're like all up in my face. So it's not bad. I like it. But yeah, I just want to show you. It's been about two and a half hours now. It's like almost three o'clock. Um, so it's been about three hours actually. So yeah, I might do one more check in and then give you my final thoughts. Also wanted to point this out. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this. Um, and I talked about the smell a little bit in while I was applying the foundation. It does have a smell. The smell, like I said, as you're applying it, to me, it's strong. Obviously, smells are subjective. Um, it doesn't smell bad. It just does have a strong scent. Once the foundation dries, you just it does not linger, so you can't smell it like as you're like, you know, going like how you smell perfume throughout the day. It's not like that. It's just as you're applying it, there is a fragrance. There is some sort of fragrance. I don't know what it is. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like something and it's noticeable. And I that I don't like. I'm not going to like it. I'm never going to like when a foundation does that to me. But overall, like it's not like an end all be all. But the smell does not linger. Just wanted to mention that because um, I did kind of mention that while I was applying the foundation that I didn't like that. And I still don't like it, but the smell does not linger. So this is my face after I've finished. I'm actually editing the clip from earlier and I'm going to add this video in later. Um, but this is my face. It looks pretty good. Um, it's not too oily, um, except for my nose, but you guys know it don't matter what foundation I use. My nose has a mind of its own. I promise you it does what it wants to do. 
Um, but overall, I think it looks so pretty good. I still feel a certain way about the bumps, but it's like I said, if you're in person, you're not really seeing that. If I take a picture, you don't really see it. But for me, I see it. But I know it goes away as soon as I wash my face. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like an allergic reaction. It can be an allergic reaction. But whatever the case is, I like the foundation. It's pretty good. I don't like it more than I do the matte summertime anyway. But it looks pretty good. I'll probably try it a couple more times just to see like if I really like it. I'll probably mix two um two of the shades to see how that looks and stuff like that. Play with it a little bit more. But it's first first start, it priced twenty three dollars. It's a pretty good foundation. I like it. Probably not one that I'm gonna grab often because I do like a matte foundation and things of that nature and a lot of like the other products that I use within my routine kind of cater to that. So um, I'm probably not going to grab for it that often, but it's a nice foundation if you guys are into like, I feel like it's one of those foundations you can wear like for an everyday thing. Like, I don't think I would layer this on um, too much. Um, I just don't think it will really work with my skin, but overall, it's a pretty good foundation. Like I said, not going to be my go-to, but I mean, it has really good coverage does have good coverage it does apply very easily it's not super thick it's not cakey which is what it claimed not to be if you like if the thing is if you like radiant foundations you will probably enjoy this foundation a lot to be honest with you if you like radiant foundations you have a drier skin type um those types of things you really enjoy this foundation i feel like if you have like oily skin um it might be a hit or miss that's my thoughts on it as far as like overall um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how I'm going to close out the video because I'm not I'm not going to set up my camera. It's all the way over there. I'm not, I'm not doing all that. So I'm just going to close out the video here. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.